Thank you, Matt. A um, couple of things, uh, in your response to uh, Amira and uh, to Sean, on uh, the, uh, uh, what happened last Thursday, uh, you're, you're saying that we've seen <coughs> what desperate people needing food and so on, what could happen. Are you saying that the tragedy was the result of the stampede of people? Uh, there's an investigation ongoing by the, the uh, government of Israel. I know they've released preliminary, um, uh, a preliminary assessment, but there's a further investigation going on. But clearly, the reason all those people were out there in the first place at 4.30 in the morning, I think people, it's easy to lose sight of that. This is not in the middle. It's 4.30 in the morning. Right. And the reason that many people were out there was because they're so desperate for food and assistance. You, when, when, when aid trucks roll in, especially in the middle of the night, you shouldn't have to see people swarming them for aid. They should have confidence right. that that aid will be distributed. But they don't right now, and for good reason, because aid hasn't been getting there and they're desperate to, to feed their families. Okay, but you don't doubt that the Israeli military uh, fired on, on those people, they have, that, that they were gunshots. They have, they have offered a public assessment of what's happened, and they said that they did fire uh, uh, in one context. But we do not have any independent confirmation of how the actual events rolled out. I know that there are differing assessments and, and uh, uh, conflicting evidence about what happened, which is why we're going to wait the outcome of the uh, investigation. Yeah, but you know, uh, I mean, as, uh, as wonderful as it is to send them aid by airplanes, I mean, 38,000 meals, that's like 0 0.07, one, one seven to each one person. I mean, that's a very small amount. The best way, obviously, is via ground. And the U.S. can't send in trucks. I don't think that the Israelis would shoot or would fire on, you know, American-controlled tra trailer trucks and so on. So I think you're, you, number one, are missing everything I just said, both in my opening comments I and, and oh, that just this, I, I don't, please don't interrupt because I didn't interrupt you. Uh, about the fact that these airdrops are intended to supplement, not replace. Yes. Yes. Um, uh, and while they are insufficient by themselves, they are still important and will provide meals to people who otherwise did not have them. So we do feel they meet a critical need and we will continue them. Um, but that does not change the, fun the, 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 the fundamental underlying issue, which is we do need to get more aid in through land delivery and potentially through sea delivery, and that's what we're trying to accomplish. Yeah. First of all, I'm not dismissing the value of that. In fact, I asked the question last last week if the U.S. would do something like this. Nor was I interrupting you. I'm just saying I realize that it's a, you know it's an effort, but it's a very small uh, effort. There are other ways, and even even by sea. I mean, I understand the U.S. military has these wonderful causeways; they can roll things in, but you don't have to have a harbor and so on. But that is still inefficient. I mean, it's <coughs> the United States and Egypt and so on, if there is a political decision, you know, to, to ensure, I mean, to basically force Israel to allow trucks in, I believe that they will prevail. You, you don't think that the U.S. can prevail if it pressures Israel to allow these trucks in? Uh, we are making clear that more trucks need to come in from the senior most levels of this government. Okay, a couple more questions. You know, I, of course, uh, I, th I think it was raised that there's something like 15 children that have already died of starvation in Gaza, and there seems to be maybe hundreds more in the, in the coming days and so on. So the situation is very, very desperate. <coughs> uh, let me ask you about UNRWA. Have you arrived at a decision on uh, uh, continuing aid or resuming aid to UNRWA? Uh, we have made clear that we are going to make that determination at the conclusion of the two investigations the UN is conducting with respect to UNRWA. Neither of those investigations has concluded at this Do point. Do you have any like, calendar or timetable on this camp? Because so it's, it's, it's the people in UNRWA are saying that we are the situation is... It, so is it's a question you should direct to the UN about how long that invest, those two investigations will take. But you are not demanding that the UN, ha you know, sort of speed up the process? I think it's in the UN's interest that the investigations be completed as soon as possible. I'm sure that they're well aware of that. And finally, I have one point. Do you, can you share with us any update on the talks? Uh, on the hostage talks? Right. No, no, I'm not going to... to, to uh, read those out in detail other than to say, as I said in my opening comments, that there is a deal on the table and that deal would get hostages out. It would deliver a temporary ceasefire of six weeks, and it would allow more aid to come in. So we hope Hamas will uh, accept the deal.